What's up, Divine Feminine? <coughs> What's up, Divine Masculine? My beautiful nieces and handsome nephews. We're going to just see what's the energy going on surrounding the Divine Masculine when it comes to the karmic energy and his Divine Feminine. So please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let the shit go. Ancestors of the pure spirit as well as light, I'm asking for divine protection to channel this message. Give me clear understanding and clarity on the world to me. And I'm asking you to protect me from the evil eye. No vibrational energies that may touch the evil towards me. I'm not going to let you know what you want. So we have a Queen of Wands energy out here. Um, she's confident. She's secure. She's a social butterfly. She's beautiful. She pleases her man sexually. Yeah. Queen of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There's somebody around you. Now, you don't have to be a, a, a fire sign, but um, now for some of you with this five of pentacles in reverse, five of pentacles means someone losing their emotions for somebody. It, it represents breakups. But somebody, you know, either somebody don't want you to break up with them Queen of Wands energy, or it's a Queen of Pentacles here. She may have wanted you to, to this is a, a, basically somebody wanted you to, um, oh, okay, I got it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's the Queen of Pentacles out here in reverse. Wants a masculine to lose his emotions for you. But apparently he can't, Divine Feminine, because you're in the, the Queen of Wands energy. You're confident. You're beautiful. You're sexy. You're determined. You have um, courage. You're a social butterfly. And you're very respectful when it comes to other people's relationships. So there's a a, a selfish Queen of Pentacles, a greedy Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And like what I've been saying, this is somebody that's dealing with your master. So what I said, I'm finna start doing. When these queens come in reverse, they could be it, it's it's you're a queen in a karmic energy. I I some people may disagree with me, but you're supposed to be a queen. You're supposed to be trying to get in the energy of being a divine feminine. Even these thought whole ass bitches is supposed to be trying to make themselves better. But there's a reason why they're in reverse. And whoever this greedy, selfish, stingy, she's stingy and she greedy. This queen of, uh, queen of pentacles in reverse is someone who's financially stable, but she's stingy. She's financially stable and she'll want other people to give to her and she save her money. This is who the fuck this is. Now this is somebody, divine feminine, that, you know, um, Hell, I, I see this could be different stories out here. For some of you, you could be the Queen of Pentacles in reverse right now. 
you could be being greedy and selfish and stingy behind the masculine that you gave your all to, you gave a lot of finances to, and maybe you're not giving to them. It's a bitch side to these queens in reverse, and it's a good side. So you can be in the energy of any of these bitches at any point in any time in your life, whether you're a divine feminine or not. Because the divine feminine for, holds all the four elements of all the four queens. So you can be in the Queen of Cups energy, the, the Queen of Wands energy, and the Queen of um, Swords energy all at once. And, and, and you could be in the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That's one divine feminine. Being stingy and selfish when it comes to her money or being greedy when it comes to money. So it's different ways these readings can go. You take it where it resonates. Are you that Virgo Taurus Capricorn that's greedy, selfish, in, re and, in reverse? And, and what, what made you become this person? That's what it's all about. That's what the readings are really supposed to be all about. See, we make enemies and people become your enemy or they want you to be the enemy or they hate you for no reason. But there's a reason. And it don't have nothing to do with you. So we're going to find out. This could be a divine feminine and a queen of pentacles energy in a dark, low vibrational energy. This could be a queen of pentacles just not talking to nobody. Okay, so we're going to find out. Because see, it's the Queen of Wands out here and the Queen of Pentacles. But the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now, for some of you, this could be another feminine energy. This could be a karmic. For some of you, you could be in the Queen of Pentacles energy in reverse. Being stingy, selfish with your money. Maybe you gave too much to motherfuckers and you're not giving no more. But you're still confident and you're not giving to nobody. Take that where it resonates. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna pull some energy on this. Who this Queen of Pentacles? First, I want to find out why. And I'm asking everybody as you. Click in on this video to please hit that thumbs up button. If you look at my views, my views are too low for me to have 16,000 subscribers. So that means that some of you, you need to go into your YouTube settings, hit the notifications, and turn it on. Not only hit the notification bell, you have to now go into your YouTube settings. I need you all, all of those of you, who want to help my channel grow. If you can't make a, don a monetary donation to me, just hit that thumbs up button and tune in to my channel. If you can't stay and watch the whole video, just make sure you hit the thumbs up before you leave, okay? Because I'm one of the few readers out here that's, that's not... I don't have all these other platforms. I just got this one channel. I may be on a couple more, but I'm not posting on them channels. I, I solely work here on YouTube. And I want to say thank you to everyone for the donations. And I want to tell... Uh, I sent the package off yesterday to... Kelly, I sent it off, I mailed it off yesterday, Kelly, so you should get your crystals by Tuesday, okay, you should get them by Tuesday, so, okay, um, and thank you, now, let's see, what, why is this, why is this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Holy Spirit, before we get down on this Queen of Pentacles, why she's in reverse, Something she was doing secret. Okay. So this ain't you, Divine Feminine. You could be you if you're the if you're the Divine Feminine, you have the Queen of Pentacles energy in you already. But this is a, a, a outside force. This could be your person's ex-wife, 
ex-girlfriend. He could have kids with this mama. This could be his kid's mama. But she's part of some occult. Secretly. No one knows. What's going on with this occult? Now see, the, the, the moon, it also represents using your intuition. Illusions. It represents um, deception, lies, and things being hid. So there's something hidden about this queen of pentacles. It's a routine or something. When it comes to your masculine, oh, the four of wands. This is so this queen of wands, this queen of pentacles, divine feminine is is someone who your masculine had a long term relationship with, or some sort of long term um, investment. And with the four of wands, this is somebody he's always partying with. Or they may get together and they break up. Secretly with the moon out here, they could break up and get back together. Break up and get back together. With the knight of pentacles, this is a, a routine. Okay? This is something she's always doing. She try to be perfect, but she's not. She may have a little money. Because she has some sort of home business, a work at home business, where she's financially, you know, independent. But like I said, this is someone who makes her own money and she'll still use other people. And for some of you, this masculine, um, he's in reverse. The messenger is in reverse. And when the messenger is in reverse, that's the divine masculine, okay? He's the counterpart to the high priestess. And if he's in reverse, God damn, mm, that means he's carrying all the, the, the qualities of a divine masculine in reverse. So he's carrying the qualities of a king of cups, king of wands, king of swords, king of pentacles, all in reverse. That means this is a selfish, unloving, uncaring motherfucker. He's stingy, he's greedy, he's, he'll lie. That's your masculine. It's somebody's masculine. Now, just like I found out, I still haven't found out all. This Queen of Pentacles, we're going we gonna to find out. And I'm asking everybody to, to hit that thumbs up because I am going a little deeper than usual. So, Okay, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, she's part of some secret occult, and maybe she's put she's put a just like this masculine. It could have been a long term relationship with her. For some of you, that Seven of Pentacles could could mean she put a long term investment into this cult life. Yeah. She could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or you could be one of those signs. So why is this Divine Masculine in reverse? You go to Divine Feminine, the High Priestess. So some of you Divine Feminines, this is your husband. You may not be talking to him. He may not be talking to you. Or you are in a long term. You could be the long term investment. You could be the long term relationship. Like I said, some of you may be in the Queen of Pentacles reverse right now. Or if it's not you in the Queen of Pentacles, it's a salty, greedy, feminine. That's in the mix. And Divine Feminine, you being the High Priestess. Oh, okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm you guys know I'm, I'm teaching Tarot myself. But the High Priestess is out here. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Wands. 
the the high priestess, you can all of you can be any sign. But the high priestess is the divine feminine. So that means this telling me this is this this queen of wands right here and this queen of pentacles. This is not you, divine feminine. This is two other females or one other female around your masculine. Now, one of them, he's around. She, she could be the queen of wands. Because when the high priestess came out, that's divine feminine. That's a whole energy by herself. With all the queens, everything is upright. But you have someone that's stingy, that's a feminine around your masculine, that's stingy. And she's low vibrational and only cares about herself. And there's another feminine energy that's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's very sexy, confident, and the social butterfly. Now, Divine Feminine, that's you too. But see, whoever this Queen of Wands is, that's, you know, this is the energy that she's like overall carrying. A social butterfly, someone who likes to talk. She may chatter a lot, talk to your masculine a lot. I don't know. But that's that's you, but that's a part of you. That's not the whole full Divine Feminine. So this is two other feminine energies, okay? This is not you, divine feminine, even though it is. But this is this is two separate feminines: the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Now the overall energy is the Queen of Wands. This you could be in the Queen of Wands energy right now as divine feminine, and maybe you're just not showing your other characteristics or whatever of all the other queens. It's different for everybody. You know, it's, it's, it's different. These cards tell a lot of different stories. So, you know, you, you take it where it fits best with you. Are you divine feminine? And right about now, are you being selfish with your masculine? Not giving to your masculine? You work from home and you only caring about yourself? That's this. This I don't believe this is you, divine feminine, because whoever this person is, um oh, I see so much out here. I see so much. This this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she's a part of a, a cult secretly. This occult thing, they little headgear or something, what they wear on their head could have something to do with some deer or reindeer, or elk or something. It could be some sort of lodge. You know, they, they name a lot of these cults, they name them after certain animals and shit. That, that's in the wilderness, that's in the, the woods, deep in the woods, that's, you know, um, it, it's hidden. You know, just like some of the animals, you're not just going to drive down the street and, and see certain animals out in the open like this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, not you, Divine Feminine. Whoever this, this is the energy that this woman carries. She's always stingy. She's always selfish. But see, with the Divine Feminine, this is, this. if this is your energy, it's a part of you. And somebody took you there. But this is two other feminine energies around your masculine. Okay, one could be an earth sign and one could be a fire sign. I hope this makes sense to you. Do you. Does this make sense to you, Divine Feminine? If it does, put it in the comments. Because I'm learning a lot more. I'm, I'm doing a lot of studying. And now I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really super protecting my energy to where my third eye and my crown chakra is open. And I'm keeping it balanced. So let me know if this is, if, if you understand what I mean. I'm trying to break it down to you as best as I can. You are the divine feminine. And yes, I do write on my cards. <coughs> I'm learning, but I already know that the, the divine feminine is one who uses her intuition. I know about the deep knowledge. Okay. I know that she carries all the qualities of all four queens, including the empress. Okay. So it's like this this is two energies that's outside of your relationship that's dealing with your masculine. 
Lancer. Page of Cups, positive change. It represents uh, an unexpected but a pleasant surprise. This card is all about somebody being emotionally mature, creative possibilities, creative opportunities. Um, somebody may be bringing you a message. And it's right next to this dark divine masculine. So let's find out about this masculine. He's supposed to be some sort of spiritual teacher or something. Something he's supposed to be doing, he's not. Oh, shit. He the king of cups in reverse. So some of you may be dealing with the your masculine, maybe uh, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And um, he may be manip a manipulator. He could be a master manipulator. Whoever this masculine is, he's the king of cups. So just like I said, if this is a divine masculine, he could be all the kings upright. But right about now, he's in the King of Cups reverse. He's emotionally manipulative. So he could be emotionally manipulating you and these two other feminines. He don't care about nobody. He has no compassion. He's not emotionally balanced himself. You know this Divine Feminine. So, hopefully, this masculine is this messenger in the Page of Cups energy that's coming emotionally mature, um, and it's, it will be a pleasant surprise for somebody that you will see this masculine make a positive change. But see, for some of you, this could mean that He's going to try to emotionally manipulate you by making you believe that he's made a positive change with the unexpected surprise, you know, of him showing up or, you know, popping up something. But he's selfish. Okay. This is somebody who will, you know, um, withhold their energy. They'll emotionally manipulate you by um they'll they'll if this is someone who was loving and caring and if you don't give them what they want or do things the way they, they want you to, they'll withhold their energy. They'll stop, you know, if they were somebody who was loving and caring and nurturing, they'll they'll cut that shit out. They'll go opposite. They'll act like they hate you. They'll wish ill on you. This is a king of cups in reverse. He only cares about himself. He only loves himself. He's not going to put no energy in nobody else. And divine feminine, you may be aware. Just, just think, if you're masculine, if he's the divine masculine, he could be a karmic, he could be your twin flame, he could be your soulmate, whoever the fuck. But if he's a divine masculine, he's going to carry all the energies of all four kings and the emperor and one, one big old ball of this masculine. And when you got that type of energy, baby, you got a, a, a firebomb, a, a something good. A bomb is not good, but to me, you know, when you have a divine masculine, someone who's carries all the qualities of all the kings, you hit the jackpot. Except when they turn, if they, one of them energies going to reverse. So you can be with a divine masculine and this person could be a divine masculine, but he's in a king of cups and reverse energy. So a lot of you, I noticed, you know, I read the comments and even myself when with things I go through, now I'm learning. This could be your divine masculine, and he could be in a um, 
the karmic energy is when he's in reverse. Okay? Now, that's my opinion. That's how I feel. That's the conclusion I came to. This is somebody's divine masculine. But he's in, he's in a king of cups in reverse for a reason. And it could have something to do with this queen of pentacles in reverse. He may have stopped showing love to this queen of pentacles. Possibly because she stopped giving money to him. Or he stopped giving money to her and she stopped showing love to him. It's something like that. It's like tit for tat. I show you love, but you're not you're not sharing your 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 abundance with me. Your um, it's it's like they're not they're not on the same page with this karmic energy, divine feminine. Am I making this make sense to y'all? This is what I see. Okay, and it's not a it's not a ten of cups. It's not a a meaningful relationship is it's a struggling relationship there's a disconnection between this divine masculine and this queen of pentacles in reverse which right now this divine masculine he didn't lost the element of the king of cups he probably still got the energy of the king of wands the king of pentacles and the king of swords but right about now he's not showing whoever this virgo taurus capricorn is he's not showing no love to her and she's not giving no money. If she was somebody who, if, wow, the King of Swords. If, if she was somebody who would share money with this masculine, she's not doing it no more. It's like they, they, you know, this King of Swords, this masculine may have gotten the mental clarity. He got the truth. We have the Chariot, Cancer energy, King of Swords, um, Aquarius energy, Air sign. Working hard to improve your skills. Eight of Pentacles. So, like I said, these this different for everybody. Somebody, a, a, a divine feminine that's, like I said, the same thing with the King of Cups. He's a divine masculine, but he's not in a loving, giving, nurturing energy. It's a divine feminine out here. She's not in a... Um, when it come to her money, it's like she ain't playing. Okay, she didn't become cold-hearted and stingy with her money. Now, that could be you, Divine Feminine. Or, again, this could be this Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be another feminine energy. You could be the one the King of Cups started withholding his energy from you, his intimacy and his nurturing, you know, um, essence from you he could have just started becoming selfish and withdrew his energy from you and you could have been you know your your whatever it is that you do at home it could make you a lot of money you may work on the computer from home you may have your own business or something from home maybe you travel with your own business. Somebody has a, a plaque or something or whatever your business is, it's on the side of the door of your car. Or you have a car that's for your business, whatever it is that you do. I don't know who that is. Some of you may drive for Uber. Some of you may drive for Lyft. Somebody may ride, drive a limousine. But whatever it is, somebody is in the Eight of Pentacles. They working hard. Now, this could be you or your divine master. The world. Yeah. Whatever it is that you're doing, it's, it's, it's a big accomplishment for you. And you're happy. And you embrace this accomplishment. But who is this King of Swords? Is this, this the masculine and the king of swords energy? You could have spoke some truth to this masculine. Or this masculine may have spoke some truth to you about this queen of swans or this queen of pentacles. Divine feminine. 
you could be the world to this masculine and he could have the mental clarity that you mean the world to him I hear that song, you mean the world to me. You are my everything. I swear the only thing that matters, that matters to me. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Because you mean so much to me. Who is that by? I forget. I can't think. False twin flame. Fear of the unknown to a wand can reverse. Somebody is resisting the end. Ten of swords reverse. Somebody thought you was going to be defeated, but you're not. Somebody don't want something to change. Now, this could mean either this masculine may not want something to end between you and him, or he may not, these two karmic feminines, may not want something to end with him. But somebody don't want something to change. So if this masculine, it, it may be him not wanting something to change. For those of you, if it's the masculine that don't want something to change, he don't want it to change that he has you and these other two feminines. For some of you, these two feminines don't want it to change that they side chicks. Okay? They don't care. They don't want their, their karmic energies. And even though this queen of wands upright, you know, again, that could be a divine feminine, but this could also be an external feminine energy. She not a whore or nothing. She's confident in herself. But this masculine has a greedy, selfish queen of pentacles that may not want to change. So take it where it resonates. Somebody is feeling successful or they're determined to be successful. This could be your energy, divine feminine. And you may have found out that this masculine is a false twin. Because if he got all of these these two other feminines over here, he have to be, you know, um, dibble dabbling with them. Something is going on, and he's doing this because if if be one of these feminines or somebody before you hurt this masculine, they cheated on him. They did something. They wounded this masculine some sort of way. He may be setting some boundaries or you may have set some boundaries with him. He could have hurt you, but hurt people hurt people. So he hurt you. This is a masculine that's distorted. And this is why he has these other two feminines around him. Because I feel like he's somebody who's saying he's been hurt before. He's not going to put all his energy into one woman. Confirmation for somebody. He's not going to put all his energy into one person. Because he's been hurt before. Even though he may, you know, have deep love for you, Divine Feminine, this is a masculine who somebody hurt him. Even though you're the Queen of Cups, caring, compassionate, you could have caught this person and you ended it with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Death out here. Seven of Swords. In reverse. Somebody got caught and they was hurt behind it. But somebody, you know, even though you're walking away wounded or you, you, you may feel a little broken up, you're still standing. But you also are aware that this is a, a false twin. He could be a divine masculine, but he don't have to be your twin. He could be somebody else's twin. Not yours. Okay? You have to use your discernment. Just because a person is, is a divine masculine or a divine feminine, it don't mean that they're yours. This is the energy that they're carrying. When they, uh, a divine masculine will find his true divine counterpart. But it's, it's, you have to look more in on that. I'm learning more about it, but... I don't want to speak too much on it because I'm not very familiar with that. Okay, so I'm going to stop this reading right here. And if you understand and you comprehend what I'm saying, 
please put it in put it in the comments for me and then make sure you hit the thumbs up button and share this video with somebody even if it's in an email even if it's on your social media even if you send it to somebody in a text even if you just pick a random number and send it to somebody you know do that and that'll help my channel grow and share it on your other platforms and i'm thanking you all in advance and remember anybody who watched this reading i pray that everything or whatever that hurts you anything that you're constantly stressing about will get better for you okay May the dark thoughts and the overthinking and the doubt exit your mind. May clarity repeat, replace confusion. And may peace and calmness fill your life. And I want to say thank you to everyone for all your kind words, your thoughts, and your, your intentions. And you are such a beautiful soul, a beautiful spirit, and a beacon of light in my life. And I thank you tuning in to my channel. Peace out.